Ladies and gentlemen, the early reviews are in. It sounds like the Little Mermaid live action 2023 film is a massive success. Oh, wow. And you don't have to take my word for it. The people that we trust above anyone else, the ones we hold to high esteem, are those movie critics on Twitter that are hand-selected by Disney to see the movie early and give their thoughts. They're completely vapid and pointless. Let's talk about them right now. Before I dive in though, <laughs> water puns, I guarantee you no critic on this list is going to give any sort of water play on their words. Splash that subscribe button and make sure to like and turn on notifications so these show up in your feed. I do a lot of movie content, reactions, rants, reviews, all things movies. Oh, and to be nice to the critics of Twitter, I went ahead and changed their names so as not to offend. This first review comes from flounderfan69. The Little Mermaid may have murky visuals, but the above ground romance works swimmingly. <laughs> Great chemistry sells the love story and the songs we know and love are still magical. Like the other live action remakes, this doesn't touch the classic, but it's enough to stay afloat. Two water puns for the price of fun. I love it. I also love that he admits that it's a pointless remake, like all of them are, and not as good as the original. Great! What an amazing use of time, money, and talent that could have gone somewhere else. Like, I don't know, making something new. Flounderfan6969, because the other one was taken. The Little Mermaid is a fantastic reimagining of a classic tale. He should have spelled tale T-A-I-L, but we'll keep going. That overflows with style, creativity, and color. I wish I would have known before I started the voice that this guy was British. He used the obnoxious spelling of color, C-O-L-O-U-R. I'm an American. We cut corners on everything, including our words. It's C-O-L-O-R. Get that U out of here. Holly Bailey sings and splashes into our hearts with a wondrous voice and performance as Ariel. David Diggs is hilarious. One of Disney's best live action remakes. Flounderfucker69 says, The Little Mermaid is the best Disney live action adaptation to date. Holly Bailey is Ariel. Major props to the sound effects team. Good changes. The one new song with too much autotune. Could watch this version's Under the Sea all day. It was the highlight of the whole thing. Oof, pretty blunt force honesty from that guy. Giving a criticism about one of the songs autotune being a tad much. Watch out, you might lose that Disney presser. Let's press on. Flounder Fondler says, Halle Bailey is the Little Mermaid. Deja vu, I could have sworn I just read that by a different critic. An angelic voice, the longing in her eyes, the chemistry with Jonah Howard King, she's flawless. The movie overall isn't, but there's more than enough charm, heart, and adventure there to power it forward. Melissa McCarthy is a deliciously devilish Ursula. Some of my favorite effects work comes in the third act and focuses on her. And Davy Diggs is stellar as Sebastian, a favorite of the film by Let's be honest, it's very hard to screw up Under the Sea. The song is fantastic. The semen is always greener in somebody else's lake. Those are the lyrics, right? I got it right. Flounder Fellatio says, The Little Mermaid makes it pretty close to being the best live action Disney movie. However, it still struggles in the villain department. Halle Bailey is Ariel. Are you serious? I read three of these in a row and they all say Halle Bailey is, capital I-S, Ariel. Are they getting notes? What? This is insane. And I had literal chills throughout her performance. This is a Little Mermaid retelling like you've never seen before. Except for we have seen it before and a lot of it looks shot to shot, but, but okay. And finally, we have Flounderfucker Fellatio 6969 with The Little Mermaid is Magical. Halle Bailey is absolutely phenomenal. That girl has some pipes. Scuttle and Sebastian are hilarious and had me laughing the whole way through. <laughs> Love the new songs and added plot points. Some CGI issues, but they don't take away from it. Hashtag the Little Mermaid. Okay, well there you have it. Some pretty scathing remarks about the new Little Mermaid. It sounds like one of the songs might have a little too much auto-tune. It sounds like a small portion of the film has some sketchy CG. But overall, this is a fun, 
beautiful retelling that's not quite as good as the original but it's one of the best live action movies since the last live action disney movie since the live action movie before that they just keep getting better personally from the clips i've seen it looks like ass i don't care for really any of the live actions except for the jungle book which was solid but that's because it was really its own story it didn't take a bunch of stuff from the animated classic it was its own thing these newer ones, Aladdin, The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, they have all the same music. They have a lot of the same storyboarding shots and scripts. It's just so empty. The color is drained out of them. The energy's gone. It's, it's a bizarre amalgamation of, of different corporate overlords saying what should go in here, what color we make one character to bring in more people, what gender we make someone to bring in a different audience. It's all about getting in as much money for these soulless trash remakes as humanly possible. Now, The Little Mermaid could be fantastic for all I know. I just have a really hard time trusting any of these early reviews. But I'll see it, give my honest take, my honest opinions, tell you if it's a fun movie for you and the family to go see, and we'll go from there. My guess, it'll be perfectly harmless and fine to bring your kids and waste a couple hours. A grown man, yeah, probably not the target audience for this one. <laughs> I don't care much for the original Little Mermaid, it's, it's fine. It's a fine, colorful movie. I come at it as a movie critic and someone that just likes classic Disney doing new things, pushing the envelope, making new stories, putting twists on old ones, but we don't get that anymore, or we hardly get it anymore, and it's sad. Let me know your thoughts, though. Are you excited about The Little Mermaid 2023 live action, or are you like me and you're bitter and jaded and hate pretty much everything? No, that's not true. I've actually liked a lot of movies that have come out of Hollywood lately. This year has been particularly solid. Hopefully, Fast and the Furious 10 and The Little Mermaid can keep that trajectory going. I have zero faith in that happening. <laughs> but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully, I see you next time. C spelled S-E-A. Because water puns.